Hi, my name is Pastor Ike. And I'm Pastor Joe. And this is Behind the Series. Hey, thanks for joining us for this episode of Behind the Series. Uh, we want to share with you a little bit as we're looking toward the actual Advent season. Uh, we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 1, which is uh, the story of Mary, the mother of our Lord. Uh, Pastor Joe is actually going to kick the series off uh, with the first message, and you're preaching on? On the Annunciation, when Mary finds out first from the angel Gabriel that she is going to have this little baby, this baby Jesus, the Son of God. So I look forward to fussing that with, with you guys. And we just finished the Advent for Dummies, mm -hmm. and now we are, this is advanced. Now we're into Advent. So This is Advent. This is Advent, Advent. yeah. The and coming, the coming. The right? coming. Yeah. And the after the Annunciation, we're going to look at the virgin birth, the mm -hmm. significance of that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to look at Mary's response, her call that she uh, was obedient to the God who had called her. And we can't even imagine uh, what she went through receiving this call. To well, and just to remind folks, she's probably 13, 14, 15 years old at most no, when she no gets, this, gets this message. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, I mean, I, I was still dribbling when I was 13. So, um, but go and, ahead. And then after uh, yes. that, her response, the fourth and final, is that great song of Mary called the Magnificat. The Magnificat, and, and it has been a part of our culture. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to digging into Mary's life as she prepares uh, to make the way for Jesus. Right, and again, this is Luke. Uh, I think we start at first chapter, 20, verse 26 through um, 46. Mm -hmm. Just 20 verses. We're gonna, over the next four weeks, we're going to look at these 20 verses, dig deep into those verses, and I look forward to fussing with that with you. Well, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You were raised Roman Catholic, weren't you? Yes, yes, and and that's you know, and, and until I until I became a Lutheran pastor, did I realize where the Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is, is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Well, now wait a minute. Now I'm a Protestant go ahead, minister. Go ahead. Let, let me see if I can do the second half of it. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Praise God. I bet you're surprised that I, a Protestant I, I, knows the rest I, of that. I am very impressed with that. <laughs> I've shared that with, that with with earlier. That's that's very cool. Well, and I and, and what, how do you, why do you know that? That's a great question, and um, I think what for me, uh, being raised in the Protestant Church, we were always uh, well, nothing was taught to us about Mary. Yeah. Mary was just sort of this figure way over here, and she might have gotten mentioned once, but that was it. And as I you know, began to study scripture, as I read uh, the text in Luke chapter 1, and as I was reading, oh my goodness, this is where the Roman church gets the Hail Mary from but, Luke well, chapter 1. At least the first part. At least the first part, that's yeah. right. And, and, and the significance of reading church history, seeing how much uh, the church honored and respected her. You know, we Protestants need to get over ourselves and look at the faithfulness of Mary yes. as God calls yes. each of us into faithfulness. Uh, yeah. for the will he has for us in our life. Well, just the powerful story of Mary, Mary at the beginning, uh, at the birth of Jesus, all the, all the way to the foot of the cross. Uh, that and is, and, and you mentioned that earlier, and that, that sit chills up my, my spine. She was with Jesus from the very beginning all the way to the crucifixion to and the resurrection. End. Yes. So, wow. hey, we're looking, forward yes. To, we're looking forward to presenting this series. We hope you're looking forward uh, to preparing yourself to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ uh, the faithfulness of this young girl named Mary, and the call that God has on your life to proclaim this good news that Emmanuel is coming. So be sure to join us. Thanks for being here.